take down the Onyx on our last run? <sighs> we totally did! <sighs> I'm starting to think they're actually respawning. It's not fair! Why does Alejandro get to do all the fun training? <sighs> you know, whatever we're doing right now is probably better than whatever he's doing. <sighs> I guess you're right. Just wish we could change how we train sometimes, you get me? Hurry! We're almost to the exit! The Onyx again? Yeah. Well, you're just in time. Help yourself to the food I made. So tell me, what did you guys learn this time around? We didn't learn this much time around, since the first couple floors were pretty much empty. But the last five floors? It's like the difficulty just turned up to 11. Even with Lucy around, we had a hard time dealing with dragon types. I feel like we got a hang of things though. What about the Onyx though? Can you explain that? We were tired and it was the end? I'm sorry, but that wasn't the answer I was looking for. I know this sounds harsh, but I'm gonna have to send you guys back for one more run. But from here on out, we need to be prepared for anything and everything. What? No fair! What do you mean? Sorry, but it has to be this way. Clara, do your thing. You got it, Babs. Sending him back. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, I... Ah! Oh, God. So this is how it feels like. I didn't even get to enjoy my sandwich. Flash cannons are my limit. Diego, write that down. Sure, but I still don't understand how this counts as training. This isn't training. At this point, I can only improve my endurance. Give me a rundown of our notes today. Alrighty then. From what we learned today, you can take several moves of the following before you pass out. You have six shuttle balls, three flash cannons, five moon blasts, four thunders, four stone engines, 6 fire punches, 7 ice fangs, and 4 poison fangs. We also learned that you can hold your breath for around 3 minutes underwater, you can endure the effects of poison for 15 minutes before passing out, and you can fight your way out of paralysis in less than a minute. And I think that's it. I'd say that's good progress for today. At least now I've gotten a pretty good grasp of what this new body can handle. But couldn't you just transform into something more resistant? I don't want to rely on that too much. Oh hey, Mom's here! Good timing. Did they survive? Fortunately, yes. They're all peered out now. But thanks to their hard work, they managed to reach level 55. How'd it go? Every nerve in my body feels like it's screaming. I don't know if I can even walk. Then I'll carry you, John. Really gonna embarrass me like this in front of my girlfriend? That's what friends are for. I hate you. I know. So, what did you end up learning today, eh? Being able to use any move you want can lead to some pretty interesting things. How so? <gasps> Let's say I try to use Steel Wing as a Sylveon without having any wings. Whoa! Does it hurt? A little. Man, I wish I used my wish on something like that instead. Well, what did you wish for? To be able to resist extreme temperatures. Think of thick fat, but without the fat. Why? I thought it would be useful when we come across dungeons that have crazy temperature conditions. Pretty smart, huh? Really? You sure there isn't another reason? No. Why? Oh, hey guys. Hey, Lulu. Hey, other reason. <laughs> So, what's up with the ice spikes? I don't know, dude. After reaching level 30, it started to appear every time Lucy feels any strong emotion. I finally figured out what I'm wishing for! Told you it wouldn't take her more than a week. 
I was afraid that it would have taken her longer than that. Okay, I don't know about you guys, but I really miss all my stuff. How about this? What if I wish to bring all of our stuff from our world to this one? That way, whenever we get to Arceus, let's just ask to bring all of our stuff back with us. What do you guys think? Not gonna lie, I like that idea. Do you think we can be more specific though? What did you have in mind? I like where this is going. Hey, so what's up with the humans? Hmm? Oh, I think Lucy finally figured out how she's gonna use her wish. Just now? Yep. <sighs> Alright, who put their bed on a week? That was me. Hey, <laughs> jackpot. So, do you guys have any idea what Lucy's gonna wish for? Maybe she'll wish to have extra Pokemon abilities just like John and Alejandro did. It looks like she just wished for a box? You serious? A box? Huh. I wonder what's inside. Did she really use her wish just for that? I think we spoke too soon. Damn it, Lucy. Did you forget to wish for the boxes to be labeled with our names? Oh, whoops. <laughs> I didn't think that would be an issue when I wished for them. Sorry. It's fine. We have our stuff. All we gotta do now is figure out who owns what. Come on, Jirachi, you can't just snoop through our stuff just like that. Whoops, couldn't help it. Sorry, but what is all of this anyways? Lucy had this bright idea of wishing us our stuff from our world. I tried to make things organized and specific, but as you can see, things didn't turn out. Wait... This is mine! Still at 60%. Wow, at least I got my music again. You thinking of listening to music? You should probably keep those earbuds in so we won't get a copyright strike. Copyright strike? You still think Clara was being serious back there? Of course. She knows the most out of all of us. So if we do happen to be in a YouTube video, I wouldn't want to risk the chance of getting demonetized, you know? Why do you care about that kind of thing? Even if we are monetized, we aren't even getting paid. Plus knowing how the Pokemon here react to us, just imagine what our fellow humans are doing in the comments section right now. And don't even get me started on the ads that might pop up on our video. So screw them, I'm gonna blast my music however I want to. Will these do? Yeah, thanks Jirachi. This will make things easier to organize our stuff. Okay guys, this is how we're going to do this. Let's pair up in three groups of two, humans and Pokemon. John will be with Diego, Lucy with Barbara, and I'll go with Jirachi. The humans will take a marker, look through the boxes and have the box labeled according to who they think would own what, and mark them with A, L, or J. The Pokemon will also look through with their partner, to help confirm things just to be sure. Everyone got that? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. Wow, how are you always quick to think on your feet like that? I played a lot of Siege. Hey, Alejandro, whose box is this? It's filled with a bunch of plushies. Oh, that's mine. Really? You don't seem like the type to play with toys. That's because those technically aren't mine. They belong to my older sister. When she grew out of them, she passed them down to me. For safekeeping. You have a sister? I actually have two. There's also a younger- Ooh, who's this little guy? Oh, that's the plush of Toxie. It's a character from this series that my sisters and I love to read. What is it about? Well, there's six books that span around ten chapters each. The stories are all diverse and different from each other, but they also take place in the same universe. It's got a rich pool of characters that anyone can relate to, story arcs that can range from emotional to heartwarming, and ambitious world building. Overall, I'd say that it's an interesting story. If there are any books that I managed to bring along in these boxes, you should definitely, definitely prioritize reading it. It's seriously that good. Hell, I recommend everyone should give it a read. Well, if you grew out of them, can I keep this little guy? Um, yeah, sure. Girl, you better come look at what I just found. What is it? Check it out. No way, you brought the lightsabers. Man, I haven't played with these in a hot minute. Remember when we used to fight with these? Yep. In the name of the Galactic Senate of the Republic, you're under arrest, Chancellor. Are you threatening me, Master Jedi? The Senate will decide your fate. 
I am the Senate. Not yet. It's treason, then. <laughs> Um, Miss Lucy? What are you guys doing? Time out, guys! Oh, um, <laughs> sorry. Sometimes we like to do things like this when we're bored. Back in our world, in our free time we'd play around and make a lot of references to movies and pop culture. What's a movie? Well, it's... How should I even explain this to you? I could probably just show an example, if I can find one inside these boxes. Sounds interesting, even though I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> I just killed this Mace Windu wannabe. Hey! Diego, could you excuse me for a second? Oh, sure. Hello there. General Kenobi. Huh? Hmm. Aha! How about now? Hmm. Alright. I give up. Lucy, I love you. But you can't keep pulling a katana just to win these things. I didn't think that she'd wish for her katana too, so it's fair. Yeah, John. What good is a katana if I don't use it for these things? Wow, that sure was a cool light show, guys. Do you think you have more cool stuff to show from your world? Oh, we probably do. But I think it's best to call the night here. How come? We aren't even halfway through our stuff. Exactly. Doesn't really help that we got distracted by lightsabers and reenacted Star Wars. Ugh, oh, you're right. And we also got that mission where we have to look for some mythical orbs or whatever for Jirachi tomorrow. You got a point, Lulu. I'm getting pretty tired, too. Let's pet to bed then, JJ. Mm-hmm. Alright, I'll probably go as well then. Have a good night. Good night. <laughs> good night! Night, Mr. Alejandro. Did you guys get it? Jirachi, how much longer do we have to walk? Same here, because I think the view I got right now is pretty crappy. No one's telling you to look there, buddy. Well, don't worry. We reached our first stop. First? Is this where we search for the orbs? Nope. This is where we're going to be switching the transportation. Wait, what? You see, each orb is spread out across the three separate islands. Therefore, we're gonna be using a Lapras in order to navigate through the water. It might be crowded though if we use just one. So maybe Alejandro can transform into one... Two? Um... Alejandro? Ale? You good there, buddy? What's wrong with him? Oh... Right... Alejandro may have some sort of fear of the ocean. Jirachi, how far would we have to go? At a Lapras pace, it'll take us about three hours. That's three hours too much for my liking. You guys are more than capable of pulling this off without me. I mean, John and Lucy aren't exactly underleveled anymore. You guys keep safe. I'll meet y'all back at the house. But Mr. Alejandro, I thought you weren't afraid of anything. I never said that. Well, do you have some kind of traumatic story that explains why you're afraid of crossing the ocean? No, nothing of that sort happened to me at all. Then how come you're so afraid of crossing it? Just look at it. It's so large, and big, and huge. Those all mean the same thing. Well, that's because it is, and nothing should be that big. Plus, for all we know, there could be some sinister creatures lurking beneath, waiting to catch- Alright girl, stop overreacting. Wait! No, 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 no! Wait, wait, wait! Yeah, dude. Just get in the water, and you'll see there's nothing to be afraid of. There's nothing to be afraid of! Besides, we're all here! You've been like this since the day I've met you. I think now would be the time to face this fear. We're all in this together. That won't help at all! Come on, guys. You aren't going to be able to convince Alejandro to go with us just like that. <sighs> Thanks, Jirachi. 
You gotta do this. Wait, 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 wait! Jirachi! Jirachi! It was shallow! Wow, you really weren't joking when you said that you were afraid of water. Hey, let's get one thing straight. I'm not afraid of water, okay? Just huge areas of it, like oceans. Seems a bit overkill to use Yveltal out of all Pokemon. Well, the more powerful and heavy the dark type, the more odds Jirachi has of leaving me alone. Wow, this is so cool! How did you do that? You never told me you can transform into legendaries like that. What's it like in there? Dark, but yet warm. And surprisingly comfortable. I wouldn't mind sleeping like this for a thousand years, to be honest. Well, coming from experience, you wouldn't like it. Trust me. Oh, hey! A lot is here! Hey, I'm back, and I brought your usual. You ordered it Trenta, right? Yep. And did you... Bring your favorite bagel too? Of course. Who do you take me for? So, what I miss? Nothing much. It seems that out of fear, Alejandro transformed into Yveltal and turned into its cocoon form, so he wouldn't be dragged into the water. And for the others, they just left on Alapras. Nothing too interesting yet. Cool. So... What's that you got there, by the way? I saw it in town on sale and I thought it looked nice. You think I could pull it off? Dude, you can pull off anything. <laughs> Good. Looks like a fan's gonna come back for me. Yoo-hoo! Hey there! Yes, you! Over here! You're one of them Team Star Mons, right? How long have you been sitting there? Long enough to notice the human Sylveon with the rare shape-shifting abilities or whatever. Huh. So, do you folks do like missions or requests for others? Um, sure. I guess I don't really have anything to do right now. Why? What do you need? Well, let me guess. I'm assuming that you heard about me from Kelly's, right? No, I heard about you from my friend Lily. Who happened to hear it from Kelly's? <laughs> Same deal. Anyways, I've been actually meaning to get a hold of one of you guys. What for? Like I said, just a simple job request. Depends on how simple we're talking here. Well... I ain't asking you to do something annoying like gather 100 heart scales for me or anything of that sort. Sounds good. Then let's see what you got for me now that I know it won't be an ultra long fetch quest. Sound. I just need help keeping watch over this old cave for a few hours. Okay. Why? You see the underwater cave beneath us actually has a history behind it. It actually houses an heirloom that my family kept for generations. But rumors spread around town and some folks think it's some sort of secret treasure or something. We've noticed some bandits and pirates here and there trying to snatch it for themselves. But Lily and I always manage to fend them off. Right now though, it's a bit hard cause she actually went off to try to find your friends to convince them to help us. Luckily, another friend of ours named Lisa says that she can house it herself for safekeeping. So the task would be to sit tight till she arrives, and then we'll be able to hand it off to her. That sound easy? Ah, whoopsies. Where are my manners? Forgot to introduce myself. The name's Alejandra. Alejandra, you say? You know, that's quite the beautiful name you have there. Oh my, that's so kind of you to say. So, what's your name then? My name is Alejandro. 
Now, now, I wonder who you really meant to compliment when you said those words just now. <laughs> who do you think? That's quite the self-love you've got for yourself. Hey, if no one's gonna do it, I'll just do it myself. Ouch, who hurt you there, buddy? Hey, Lulu. Yeah? What's something you miss from our world? Uh, I don't know. Hmm. Oh, that coffee place! You know the one right next to our apartment? They really had some solid donuts there. I'm probably gonna miss those a lot. Seriously? I never really liked that place. Are you still mad that they'd always misspell your name on your cup? It's not hard to spell the name John, but yet they do it every time. It's always Jose or Jean, sometimes even Joanna. <laughs> That's real good. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, JJ? Hmm, nothing to be honest. Really? Diego. Sorry, I didn't mean to butt into your conversation. But don't you guys have families that you miss or something like that? Oh, not at all. Why? Because we're orphans. Oh, sorry. No, it's fine. Yeah, don't be. It's never really bothered us anyway. So you guys really don't have anything that you miss from your world? Nope. Then why not stay? What do you think? I never really thought about that. I mean... This world isn't too bad either. True. And now that Diego mentioned it, I don't really have anything worth going back for. You and Nova Hunter have always been there wherever I go. And with all my stuff here, it's like we've basically moved cities together at this point. Fair. We could try staying. Would you want to stay? I mean, yeah. There's no reason why we can't start over again here. There's probably ways to become a teacher here like in our world. And this world would probably need doctors where a simple heel pulse won't do the trick. <gasps> we might not even have to pay off our student loans. Car insurance, bills, internet, hell, even taxes. That, that settles, settles it. it. We, we should, should stay. stay. Okay, I got another one. Favorite fruit. Watermelon. Favorite hot drink? Chamomile tea with honey. Favorite place in town? The Spa of Roses. Favorite fictional character? Anna Diana from Toxie. Mm, don't know who that is. Fantasy novel. I'll let you borrow a book someday. <laughs> okay. Favorite legendary Pokemon? Lunala. Favorite non-legendary Pokemon? I can't just name one. Zoroark and Superior. Wait, seriously? Yeah. Why? No reason. Favorite type of flower? Roses. Really? Yeah, why? No reason. I'm getting tired. Oh, come on. This is fun. Alright, last question. If you didn't like being a Sylveon in the first place, then why stay one? Why not transform into something you want instead? That's actually two questions, but I'll take it. It was actually the first thing I wanted to do, but staying in a transformed state required more energy to maintain than I would have liked. But if you could, what would you stay as? Hmm, probably a Zoroark. Your favorite Pokemon, huh? How come? It would feel like being a human again. To be able to stand up and not worry about any extra stuff, like a tail. Plus, I could just blame it on my illusions if someone sees me transform. That makes sense. But I don't think that being a normal Zorark would be convincing enough to pull off that Vettel transformation you did earlier. Like, I mean, even Zorark's illusions have their limits. Unless if they happen to be an Alpha Zorark. What's an Alpha Zorark? Alpha Zoroarks are more large in size and have more potent illusions. What I mean by potent is that regular Zoroarks can only have superficial illusions. You know, the shallow stuff like appearance and voice manipulation. While Alphas can do so much more. 
I've heard that they can camouflage their body and even influence their surroundings to change. Also, if you happen to be a psychic type, all of a sudden you can find yourself being bamboozled by the things. But it's hardly a worry, since the odds of finding one are more rare than finding out a shiny Pokemon. Wow. I wonder if I could do that. Probably. My back is starting to hurt. When are your friends coming again? She should be here soon. Maybe like in less than half an hour. Alejandro, what are you doing out there? That pitiful skull shouldn't stop you. Don't know if you caught it, but two Sharpedos just snuck by us. We gotta catch up to them before they grab my heirloom. Make sure you take a deep breath before diving. Right, right, you have that fear of deep ocean thing. My bad. Hmm, how about transforming into a Vaporeon or some Aquaman? I'm not going underwater. I can put you in a bubble. What part of not going underwater do you not understand? But what if- No! You said there was only one exit, right? What if I just catch them here on the outside? But if you miss and they flee to the sea, I'll lose my heirloom forever! Well, can you think of another way to get me down there without me touching the water? Because I'm open to suggestions. Um, Ali? What's the smallest Pokemon you could turn into? I don't know. Maybe a Joltik? Why? How's that gonna help us? You are sick. You told me you were open to suggestions. Listen, I don't want to do this either, but this is a really big deal for me. It's the only thing I've got left from my family. I know you're afraid, but you're my only hope here. Oh. What happens here stays here, Kabish? Oh, trust me. I ain't blabbering about this to a living soul. Okay, take a deep breath and try not to move a bunch. Mm. felt so horrible. You taste so bitter and salty. Wait, where are you going? I'm gonna go take a shower. I smell horrible right now. Listen, I really appreciate what you did today. Hmm? Oh, Lisa's finally here. Whoa! I didn't see you there, but wow, I love what you did with your hair! But hey, I'm so sorry that it took me so long to get here. Like, my place was such a mess and I had to clean up a little bit. Like, I mean, I can't put your super duper important family heirloom in that grump picks up a mess, but as we got messes, I actually got lost halfway, so I had to ask my big bro for directions. And then for some reason, I saw these two Sharpedos flying on my way here, and I just thought that was pretty weird. And, oh! By the way, where'd you find this little kitty? Like, she's so cute. Like, look at her fur. Like, oh my, Arceus. But, like, she smells kind of funny, though. <laughs> uh, it doesn't really matter since she's such a cutie pie. Like, do you think she'll be okay if I do a pleasure of her? Like, wow. By the way, my name is Lisa, and I love, love, love making plushies. Like, what's your name? Where are you from? Your zodiac sign? Your star sign? Your mother's maiden name? Where are your hobbies? Like, tell me all about yourself. <laughs> oh my, Arceus! The heirloom! Whoopsies! I'll go put it in a safe place. I'll be back in a bit, okay? Who was that? You see, you're not the only one who's friends with the legendary. She seems nice. Is she always like that? Only when she meets new mons. Oh, okay. By the way, what happened to your hair? Just noticed. Damn it. I think I lost my pearls during that whole commotion down there. Really hate having my hair down like this. Makes me look all swampy and messy. Why don't you just braid it? Braid? What's that? You Pokemon don't know what braiding is? No. 
keeps your hair from being all loose like your pearls would. Like my pearls? But how, though? Look, just, just turn around. How do you know about this braiding thing? My older sister taught me. Do humans have long hair? Some do. I used to have it down on my shoulders. Done. Here, take a look. Whoa! I love it. It looks so pretty. The best part is that you can easily unravel it from the tip. And why would I ever want to do that? You need to teach me how to do this someday. Sure. I give up. I'm so sorry, Allie, but I looked everywhere. Went to their house, asked around town, nothing. No one spotted them. I think they must have went out to do a mission or something. The rest of them did, but this one here happened to stay behind. You serious? Yep, and this is Alejandro, one of the humans from Team Star. Well, I'm glad to hear that after all that time I spent looking for them, one just so happens to make their way to you. Okay, I know he's like human, but are they supposed to smell like this? Don't, Don't ask. ask. Alejandro, thanks so much for your help again today. I'll see you around. Goodbye. Yep. Goodbye now. Do I really look that angry? Oh, hey Alejandro, we were just about to look for you. How'd you manage to get here before me? I teleported us back. And those are the orbs? Yup, so with these orbs I can finally create... <laughs> you got that weird fur smell. Do you even have a nose? You're looking a bit sus there, Jirachi. Ooh, what's that you've got there? It's a plushie that a very hyper Latias gave me. Cool, so that means you met Lisa. You don't have beef with her? Yeah, we're on good terms. I'm a plushie buddy too, after all. Oh, hey Mr. Alejandro, where have you been? <laughs> Why do you smell like that? Alright, that's enough sniffing. I'm gonna take a shower. Uh, okay. Favorite color? Purple. Favorite author? Jirachi. Favorite mythical Pokemon? Also Jirachi, but don't tell him that. <laughs> okay. Favorite ice cream flavor? Chocolate. What about you? Vanilla. Really? What? What's wrong with vanilla? Oh, no, nothing. It's just... I don't know. I've never heard of anyone that says vanilla would be their go-to ice cream flavor. It just screams basic. Well, you can't just say that and pick chocolate. Okay, what's wrong with chocolate then? You call me basic when chocolate is also a basic flavor? 
All right, fine. I hear your point. Hey, I have a question, if it's not too personal to ask. Shoot. Do you have family back in your human world? Yeah. Really? How many? There's five of us. There's my mom, dad, and my two sisters, older and younger, and then me. Ooh, I didn't know you had sisters. What are their names? My older sister's name is Maria, and my younger sister's name is Sheena. Speaking of Sheena, she should be turning 12 very soon, actually. Oh, really? Yep. All three of us were born in the month of March. Since our parents don't want to throw three separate birthday parties in the same month, we normally just celebrate all three of our birthdays on March 15. Oh, that means it's almost your birthday then, hey? Mm-hmm. You must really miss them, huh? Sorry, forget I said that. How about we just continue with the game? Yeah, let's continue. Alright, this is Alejandro checking in to say thank you guys for tuning into another successful release of the Pokemon White Rose comic dub. This one definitely had a lot of work cut out for it, and I'm glad that it turned out the way it did. Ain't that right, John? You said it, Alejandro. Or should I say... Sakuka Spider. Whoa, hey! You're breaking immersion here! What do you think you're doing? I just figured that it's about time that the voices behind the characters we're playing should finally make themselves known, aside from names on a credit screen. Ah, I see. So with that, hello guys, my name is Aegis. I'm the voice responsible for John in chapters 1 and 4. I'm also one of the admins of the White Rose Discord server. The White Rose Discord server? Are we gonna talk about that right now? Haha, <laughs> nope. We're gonna save that for later. Why don't you introduce yourself in the meantime? Well, you already technically introduced me, but yeah, hey guys, I'm Sakuga Sprider. I play Alejandro, and, I, and like this guy, I'm also an admin of the White Rose Discord server. But I also serve as Cobra's primary editor for White Rose and Toxie. My hobbies are playing JRPGs on the Nintendo Switch and watching anime- Sprider, I said it was an introduction. You don't have to give the audience a whole spiel. Okay, then why don't you share some stuff about yourself? That's gonna be a hard pass for me, Chief. Okay then. Anyways, Aegis, why are we talking at the end of the video here? I thought this was just gonna be to give thanks. Oh yeah, we are giving thanks. But we also want to bring some announcements while we're here, such as bonus content. While Cobra is still creating Chapter 5, we're basically all caught up in terms of content at the moment, so we'll go ahead and try to dub some of the Q&As that they've uploaded in the past. That way, we can bring some diversity into the channel for those that haven't seen them yet. Swell idea, my man. You got an idea when Chapter 5 will be released? Haha, <laughs> no clue. That'll save us some of the comments down below. I wouldn't underestimate our audience if I were you. You're right, you're right. Speaking of audience, if you ever want to hang out with like-minded individuals that like Cobra's content and want to explore some of his bonus stuff like his passion project Toxie, feel free to check out the White Rose Discord server in the description below. We'll also flash the invite link on screen here. Thanks to Asahi or RK, whoever is editing this. Speaking of Toxie, you want to try to introduce what it's all about, Spider? Sure, the story is about a creature that decays everything it touches, but that's just not all. It's also got expensive world building, a lovely cast of characters, and a lot of lore behind it. It's really cool, and I think it features Cobra's best in experimental art that they've ever made, so you should check that out while you got a chance. Fascinating. Thank you for explaining that, Spryder. Is that all we have for today? I think that's just about it. Oh wait, what about the plugs? Good call. Alright, well, if you guys are interested in keeping up with Cobra stuff, their DeviantArt and Comic Fury will be linked in the description below. And if you are interested in supporting the work that they do, like we are, feel free to support their Patreon. It helps them a great deal and will help them to do this sort of thing for a long, long time. Anyways, that just wraps up this end segment. That's it for me. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you in the next chapter. Peace.